Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Tree channel. Uh, I just received the FSD beta 10.10.2 update, uh, so I thought I'll take you on a quick drive and uh, try that out. Uh, before that, as you can see, I'm in my garage uh, and I wanted to sh quickly show you how I prepare uh, to test out the FSD beta. So the only thing I do uh, to prepare to test out a new version is to clean up my cameras. So if you see them here, these are the three cameras on the front. I hope you can see them. And then there are two on the sides here on the B pillar. And then two here. So just, just make sure you wipe them down real quick and uh, do the same here and here and then last the backup camera as well which is right above your plate so that's so now that I'm prepared let's uh, catch you on the road and then let's try out the 10.10.2 update Hello everyone, so welcome back uh, inside the car. Uh, now as you see I'm driving uh, just close by, uh, uh, it didn't recognize the speed bump there. And this uh, street doesn't have uh, lanes, so it is struggling a little bit. So there you go, there's another speed bump, oh boy, wow. Yeah, so I didn't recognize that for some reason, even though it's marked really well. I don't know uh, why it's struggling today. So let me turn uh, FSD back on. Uh, and I was, as I was saying in my garage, wow, yeah, there's there's something going on. It, it would uh, recognize speed, um, speed bumps, but I don't know. It's uh, struggling today. Nope. <laughs> huh. I don't know if I've ever tested the street out before uh, uh, and uh, I don't remember if it was recognizing these speed bumps uh, but it was doing really well on other types you know uh, but it didn't do it today so well, it's really slow here I would have been a lot faster uh, because that street uh, the stop is only for you know on, on this street not for the one that's uh, uh, perpendicular so now it recognized it um, so th this is I think freshly painted so maybe it recognized this better but some of the street bumps uh, speed bumps back there it didn't uh, recognize so we need to make a left here um, and my thoughts been going a little all over sorry uh, so I was saying I'm just doing a quick drive to test out the 10.10.2 version and then uh, back then uh, back there uh, in the street you probably saw it was the lanes were not uh, prominent and there were basically there was no lanes so it, it did try to bring you you know center yourself uh, and there was a car coming right uh, opposite so he, he, he just gave me some looks as to why why I'm driving you know right all right so let's see how it does here uh, there's a car behind me so I'm going to be a little uh, cautious here and this is a busy street so let's see if it so I press the accelerator and then 
it got me fine and then there's oh there you go so that was tesla braking and not me the truck uh, came in out of the blue and then yeah uh it handled really well but i was my foot was right in front of the brake uh and you might have noticed there were uh, school lights on so tesla doesn't recognize those yet uh, it doesn't look like it it's fixed in 10.10.2 either so let me bring uh, i'll have to manually bring my speed down uh to 20. so and then we're out of school zone so i'll bring it back up So right now I'm not noticing much of a difference between 10.9 and 10.10.2. .10 uh, there was one version before this, 10.10.1, uh, .10 which I didn't receive. Uh, so I think they uh, sent out the update to a few beta testers, but then they stopped rolling it out. And then I think they probably uh, saw some issues with it and then they released a newer version. So that's the one I got. Uh, now so I thought I'll try it out and uh, I, I think I showed you the you know uh, where, where all I clean uh, the cameras so this is important I mean I would suggest you do it as well so that uh, beta works best and sometimes if the wind uh, you know windshield is too dirty I think the the beta software will turn on your wipers uh, you know sp spray it and then turn on the wipers uh, and clean the windshield for you uh, and you would see a notice uh, I mean a message show up as well so it I think it's happened once before for me but that's uh, that's that's about it yeah. so that's the latest version and I will put the release notes uh, probably in the beginning so that you can look at it um, so I did do like a, a quick stop at one of the parks so we'll see how well till how far it takes us and then uh the right uh, my uh, destination is coming up on the left uh, but it got me to the right because the car in front of me was going slower than my set speed so it quickly got me over uh, though I wouldn't have probably done that uh, because uh, there was another car right behind me um, but yeah it it, uh, it did speed up uh, after coming in front of him so I think that's uh, that ha it handled it well so this is a school zone I'm going a little slow here again uh, I, I had to manually bring down the speed to 20 because it doesn't recognize uh, speed uh, school zones yet let me come over to the left as well while I'm at it um, because I need to make a left. I might as well end up be, uh, doing a U-turn there on the left and then start heading back. Um, but yeah, I don't. I think uh, I don't see that much of an improvement. Uh, uh, 
there are a few things that still don't work and uh, it's been the same uh, the speed bumps for sure I I thought it worked well before but it didn't so it will hopefully make a left turn here for me but it uh, I, I took over now so let's see let me get inside the park and then start heading back again So let's see how it does when I'm inside here and then parked. Should pull me out and take me. So I'll say continue trip. And then, so it didn't let me uh, turn on the beta, so let me. Um, you notice there's a car pulling out so I'll wait for them and then drive in here so I think it should come in now okay so I've turned it turned uh, beta back on so once the car ahead of me goes I think it should start and then it turned on the right indicator because we are making a right there um, so this this it handled it pretty well so there's no car in sight in front of me I would have gone by now and it's taking it's being a little less assertive but not too bad I think it it, it still got me uh, well ahead of the car that was behind so did good And if you're behind a car, I think you should be fine. But I would still bring down my speed because uh, it might want to, you know, overtake uh, the car ahead. So, In the experience with uh, uh, you know going straight or overtaking making lane changes has always been great never had any uh, issues with that um, so it's it's been still the same okay I don't notice any uh, significant UI changes or anything either some of them have been uh, same. Once you're out of school zone, you can always hit the speed limit sign, uh, and then that will bring your speed, uh, your cruise speed, back up. Uh, and you also have the option to, you know, uh, you have the option to say how how does your speed compare. You know, you can keep it relative to the speed limit. So that means uh, you can you can say. Uh, set my speed 5 above the speed limit or um, you can say 5 10 above the speed limit or you can also say you know 10 percent so it will increment in the percentage wise
So it saw the light and started going and then there was someone making a right turn so it slowed down for them. So handled that light really well uh, as expected. I think I'm, I'll be making a right uh, somewhere here and then we'll probably be getting back on the same street we were earlier. So it'll be a good test to see um, if it will you know, handle uh, speed bumps now. Uh, I'm still hopeful, so we'll, we'll see. So there's a pickup, a garbage pickup truck right in front of me. So it is struggling a little bit here. So it is uh, drawing a route uh, to overtake that, but there are a lot of cars coming in the opposite direction. So it's a, it's a tricky situation here. So let's see what it does. Okay, okay. So it did bring me over. And then it recognizes the speed bumps, so it slowed down. And then it, wow, handled it really well. So I think that was handled really well. Though it, it, it looks scary when you look at it, you know, it, it's struggling to make decisions, uh, decisions. Uh, but it handled it well, uh, really well. Um, so this is, I don't know it's it's sitting there it wouldn't it doesn't want to go so I'll press the accelerator a bit a bit so I think there were a lot of cars waiting on the other side so it thought it'll it was just waiting for them okay so somehow it doesn't recognize uh, the speed bumps on this street so we are back on the street we started with and it doesn't seem to recognize them at all nope yeah so let me send some feedback on that and hopefully they'll uh, work on it uh, so yeah that was the test of 10.10.2 uh, uh, hope you like this drive and uh, uh, you got to experience uh, the latest version um, yeah I'll, I'll, and then I'll probably stop the drive here and then I'll see you later. thank you for watching see you. Bye.